it's time to install the necessary libraries and frameworks required to build JavaScript API automation test framework. So let's get started. Hey there, welcome to Automation Bro. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified of my newly uploaded content. All right, now let's take a look at what we need to set up our base test framework. So there's a couple of things we'll need. First off, we need to make sure we have Node.js and NPM installed so that we can install these packages. I'll add a link in the description below for Node.js installation if you do not have that installed. All right, and then we will need super tests to make API calls, Mocha.js for our test framework, Chai.js for our assertion library, and be able to use ES6 and above functionalities in our test. So one thing to keep in mind that these libraries and frameworks that we are going with are only for this tutorial series. If you want, you can replace any library and framework and go with whichever one you prefer. So for example, instead of using Mocha, you can use some any other test framework or for Chai, some any other session library. Same thing with super test, you can use either Axios or Fetch and just replace it with whichever one you prefer. All right, now let's begin the installation process. So I'm going to pull up the terminal. You can open up any of your favorite terminal in Mac or Windows. So first thing we're going to do is verify if we have node and npm installed. For that, I can do node-v. This will show me the node version if it's installed. If it's not installed, you can follow the link in the description below to get that installed. Same thing for npm, I will do npm-v and it will tell me the npm version I'm using. Okay, now that I have both of this already installed in my machine, I will go ahead and set up our project. So for that, I'm going to create a new folder, do and then name this super API test and also cd into this folder. So super API test, awesome. So my new folder is created and I'm inside that folder now. So what we need to do now is initialize our npm project. For that, I will do npm init dash y. There you go. So our package, uh, the project is initialized now. So what we will do now is start installing our packages. So what we need is basically super test, mocha, chai and babel. So let's do install those. So I will do npm install dash dash save dev to install it as our dev dependencies and then do super test. Then we need mocha, chai and for babel there's actually a couple of packages we'll need. So let me just copy that and paste it over here. All right so we need babel cli, babel core and then a couple other for register and preset in. So I will hit enter and this will begin installation. So you don't have to type it all this out. I will add the link in the description so you can copy that and just paste it to begin your installation process. So we're gonna wait until all of this is installed and then we'll be back. So our package is installed and I've opened up the project in VS Code. Now if I go to package.json, I can see all the dependencies that we just installed. So we have our Mocha, Chai, Supertest and Babel. So for Babel, we did our installation but we also have to configure it with our project. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you do not want to use ES6 in your test then you can skip this step. But for our test framework we will be using that. So what we're going to do is actually create a Babel RC file. So I'll do Babel RC and over here basically configure our Babel. So I'll do presets and then add in our configuration which is at Babel slash preset and oops I spelled that wrong. Okay, so this is just a one-time thing. You don't have to worry about doing it again and again. Once this is configured for any of the future projects, you can just keep using the setting. Okay, now what we also need to do is configure our mocha with Babel. So for that, I will create a mocha RC file, and this will be a YAML file. And then over here, we will just register Babel. So we'll do require at Babel register. Okay, so that's done. So pretty much that's all we need to do to do our Babel configuration. So in the next video, we'll begin writing our first test for this gorest.co.in website. And for that, we will start off with using the user's API. So to do that, let's make sure we, our setup is actually working. So I'm going to head back to VS Code. And what I'm going to do is create a new pro uh, folder, call it test. And then within that, since we're going to be automating the user's API, I will create a file called users.js. I won't add anything in here and I'll go to package.json. Now in order to run our test, we need to run the mocha command. So to do that, what we're going to do is change the script test over here. 
So we're going to change this to mocha. So what this will do is when we will run the npm test command, it will execute this mocha command over here. So we can verify that by opening up the terminal and I'm going to do terminal, new terminal and over here just kind of type in npm test and this will run this mocha command over here. So it's doing mocha and awesome. It said zero passing because we do not have any test over here. So that's expected, but at least our setup is actually working over here. Okay, so that's all we need to set up our base project for now. And all of this code will be available on GitHub for you to access so that you can quickly clone the project. And I will add the link in the description below. So in the next video, we will begin writing our first test. So hope you guys are excited for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you would like to support my work, you can do that by buying me a cup of coffee. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Keep testing, keep smiling.